Today we will play the most beautiful build that you can have in Vampire Survivors. We have to use an egg character for this, I said I don't know the exact requirements, but I did it on the tree on Peppino and it just looked horrible in comparison. Because you want to reach certain size limits and look at the amount of revivals. This will buff up Farachi, but before I just give everything away, how about we just start it and play it. So I'll kick it off with Mad Groove, that way I have everything that I need. And I will just banish the stuff that I don't want to have for the build. Now I thought about center water, it could have been included. You don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm referencing something that you can't see. But I don't want to spoil it, you know. Yeah, I thought about taking center water and I did try it out. However, the blue is so extreme that you don't see another weapon anymore. Like, everything else is just gone. Uh, we also don't need Empty Tome, but we do need Clock Lancer, there we go. The beauty of an egg character is that you don't need certain items anymore. So for example for me, cooldown does nothing because negative 90% is the cap, after that it just doesn't do anything in the game. And for example here, amount, plus 10 is also the max, you know, so doesn't do anything if I pick up more. And the same for the revivals, at plus 10, this is the max that it can give to Farachi, and then it doesn't do anything anymore. And that means I don't need these passives and I can go for something else. Let me just banish a duplicator. Because I tend to pick it up when I see it, since it makes me happy to have the duplicator to find it. You know, back in the old days where it was good. But now it's like, yeah, I don't need that. Now, my Pugnala is right now at a stage of 4.4k eggs. I stopped laying her, as in, I stopped putting eggs into her. Trona's box, perfect. Because I have other characters that I prefer now. Red Death is the main one right now. But I think this is actually quite at a healthy stage, where yes, everything is more extreme. But it's not so extreme that you can't play the game anymore. Oh, uh, there's Spellbinder, perfect. But yeah, my main goal right now is, and this is quite annoying because Clock Lancet is just freezing everything. Could you please stop doing that? I actually want to kill the enemies. Like, look at this. I, I don't get to them. Artronus box. I might honestly just want to reroll and then pick up all the passives. You know what? I think I'll just do that. There's Tiragisu, very nice. Okay, and I just had to redo the build to make sure what I can take since a lot changed since the tree. The tree doesn't have any eggs on him, you know, so a lot actually changed. And we roll into the gun, perfect. Where's the boss, by the way? He is somewhere frozen, but I don't see him. He's guaranteed to drop a chest. I'm 99% sure, otherwise I'll redo the calculations. Uh, let's get the Song of Mana, perfect. Oh my god. Okay, that might be a bit annoying eventually. No, I'm sure it's fine. Mm, banish Empty Tome. Oh yeah, there's a chest, down there. So do I have it maxed out? Guns are maxed out to Ragisu. Let's go ham. One that we could fit in is King Bible, but in individual books, they actually look quite disruptive. It's, it's not good for a beauty build, okay? It just doesn't fit there. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how you go crazy. There we have Razor. I only need two more, one being Pumarola to evolve the garlic, and the other one is... Skullomaniac. Yeah, I had to look that up. Oh, uh, where is it? Or maybe I just pick all the weapons as well. Yeah, there's Pomerula. Only one more, then I can finally pick up everything on the stage. And because we talk about beauty, let's get rid of the damage numbers. Isn't this already semi-hypnotizing on its own? I mean, obviously, you know, it's not as good as the actual beauty build that we'll go for. But, like, come on. Oh my god, look at how many banishes I have left. I had to banish so much to get this. But there we go. Now I can pick up everything that is up here, and there we go, can Labrador and Armor and ooh, uh, uh, close to it, but not enough, there we go. And I'll just trigger all the Guardians at once so we can take care of them. I don't want the, the Arcana that pulls in everything to just constantly pull them in. Now I don't even think there's a weapon left that I want to have that fits this build. I have any wings? No, goodbye. Got your Mari? Oh no, definitely not. And Lightning Ring? Honestly, Lightning Ring would have been fine, but I it, it doesn't fit. Death Spiral? No, same reason as with King Bible, it doesn't fit. It doesn't look appealing, it makes sense, it's round and everything like that, but no, it, it doesn't look good. Well, let's go for Clock Lancet, let's go for... Uh, let's just go for Skullomaniac, there we go. I just have to be careful that I don't accidentally keep clicking. You know how you're used to when you're maxed out and you just want everything to be done? And suddenly weapons show up that I don't have banished yet. Uh, Song of Mana level 7, very nice. And do we have more? 
Do you see it building up? Do you see it building up slowly but surely? Sadly, we won't be able to have a double garlic, you know, soul eater and garlic. But if you do this on the tree and you have it heavily egged, then you can do that. Now, right now, in this... Ooh, that could have been... Oh, that could have been... No, but it... Ah. If it was only the thing in the middle with the updated version, it would be so good, but it isn't. Can I evolve something? Right now, not. But maybe with this level up. Yeah, Song of Mana, there we go. That is the very first beauty that we have here. Oh, but I could go for Shadow Pinion. Right. It will just have the rocks on top of me, but no, let's not do it. I don't want to mess this up and then I have to redo it. Uh, Skullomaniac, Metallio, Metallio, Silvering. Should we go for Pentagram? Wait. I can't evolve the Pentagram, sadly. Oh, otherwise I would have went for it. We could still do it, though. Right. I mean, worst case, it goes off every 15 seconds, right? Who cares? Okay, let's do it. There we go. I got it. And we got a mana child. Watch this, by the way. Watch this. Watch this. Isn't this beautiful? Once the square stop appear- Oh my god. This is so mesmerizing. You can't tell me this is not mesmerizing. This is crazily mesmerizing. Pentagram kind of takes away from this. But wait until we get more evolutions. Especially once the colors of the clock lancet comes in. Once the lore comes in and someone hits us. I really hope someone will hit me. And obviously also the black from the soul eater will contrast the background so insanely. You know, I remember some people saying that they really like vampire survivors to fall asleep to. And that some weapon combinations they are just so hypnotizing for them that they keep opening the same videos. That were meant for something else like a challenge you know. But they just mute it. And they look at it, and I get it, okay. We are not even halfway there yet, but it already looks like this. Maybe I should have went for Labora now that I think about it in this size here, but it would have, no, it would have just beaten out the Soul Eater, since Soul Eater is black, and the Labora would have just covered it and you don't see anything, but a very bright teal color. It doesn't look too good. I didn't understand how I was just waiting there for like at least a minute or so, and I thought I would get a ton of levels, but I didn't. And then I realize I'm already level 100. So, yeah, that kind of explains it. Gotta be honest, this actually takes way longer than I thought it would. Like, I thought I was already done. I'm so used to Smith, who has 22k X on him. By the way, if you wonder why I didn't do it on Smith, it's too much, okay? This one here is, for me, still enjoyable to play, but Smith is pretty much dead. Like, if I want to do something for fun, for memes, or so, then I still like playing Smith, or if I just want to collect a lot of gold, you know. But aside from that, I can't really stand playing him. It's <laughs> like, yeah, no. And the bad part is, having so many stats on a character also takes away from all the other experiences. Like, there's not a single character that I played that got newly added or so, where I said, oh my god, that is amazing, that is insane, that is so sick, and I'm just like, yeah, I can, I can see why this is stronger than another character, or more insane, but at the same time, I already did that a month ago, you know, it's like, um, yeah, Golden Axe kinda took it away from me, can't change that anymore. But Dex, you could just stop playing with Golden Axe, that would be the solution, oh, but does this help me? I already have the experience, I can't delete that out of my brain. Anything that comes in the future and that I do right now, oh my god. Dude, I don't want to get rid of the garlic. Ah, then again, the garlic also looks somewhat bad with the lines that are visible, so I'm actually happy that we get rid of it. Now, but the point is, like, you can't get rid of a memory. You can't get rid of what it used to be. I think the only way would really be get rid of the, the, what are they called? Get rid of the golden eggs out of the game so people don't want to go back to them. Okay. This is the next evolution. This is Soul Eater. So let's check this out. If it covers the... Oh my god. I actually didn't expect it to cover the entire screen. Oh, that is really dark. Well. Is that mesmerizing or... Oh my god. Okay, there we have a chest. This is, I think, the Clock Lancet evolution. Oh yeah. Let's check. Oh my god. Oh. It's fine if you want to mute the video. <laughs> the pentagram doesn't fit there. 
But maybe it helps to not fall asleep. Wow. Wow. Without the dark effect of the soul eater, this would just be bright and very annoying. But now it just looks... Wow. So, all that we are waiting for right now is one more chest. I'll keep it a bit down for the rest of the video, so someone who actually straight up just wants to enjoy it, gets to enjoy it. For the rest, it was nice that you were watching. We will still get the Laurel Evolution. And at the very end, when the Reaper attacks me, we will see it go off, because I think up until then there will be nothing that can get me. Wow. I don't know how to position myself with the fire. I think the fire is just unfitting and we skip that if that happens. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Like, if you just focus on the center, I don't even see what happens to the Farachi. It, it looks like it's so... Wow. No, I, I'm straight up blown away. I gotta be honest, I'm quite tired lately, and just watching this makes me nearly fall asleep. I mean, this is definitely a beauty of the game, where you just have this... This. <laughs> Pretty much this. Wow. Oh, there's a chest. We can evolve the Laurel now. It will not change too, too much about everything, right? Like, someone has to hit me for it to go off. But wow. No one can tell me that this is not the most beautiful build in Vampire Survivors. As I said, we could have had the Unholy Vesper going around, we could have had Death Spiral, we could have had Labora in the background, but the problem is Labora would just merge everything into one teal color. Like, do you see how you have the differences in color here with teal between the beams? And Labora would completely annihilate this, and everything would just look teal. It was horrible. And with Anoli Vesper and Death Spiral, same thing, but different. Well, completely different, actually. The individual objects that are going around with the Anoli Vesper and the uh, Death Spiral, they just completely destroy the picture. Like right now, for example, it actually doesn't look too bad to have the coins flying in, but does it look smoothing? Does it look hypnotizing? I don't think so. I think it takes away from it. So see you after it's done. And you can just see the enemies running through and randomly dying around me. It's it's just the animation of them. They die outside, but the animation gets this far. So, you might wonder how could we ever improve on this? Well, let me introduce you to Boogaloo of Illusions. There's one more that I have planned, which will increase our beams by 3. But before I pick that, I will take a look at all the Arcana online. Oh, let me actually move over here. Perfect. I will take a look at all the Arcana online and make sure this is actually the best one. Because there's an alternative, I could also go for the Duration one, since it will make the Manacha last way, way longer and other times way, way shorter. I don't know if this would actually help, but look at this. Longer duration would mean that the gaps are way longer between it expiring and going active again, and shorter duration would mean it would fire more often. I wish there was a way to just turn off these chests. That they point to the chest, you know. So we are right now at a tiny area. I can't change it that the fire is going, but to be honest, we don't see too much of it anymore. And then it just keeps going out, and you can check the beams. How big they become, and the fire. That is amazing. Wow. This build is definitely something special. And there it goes back to being smaller again. Actually, is it going out again? Yeah, I think now it's going out again. So the beams will become bigger. Wow. In fact, the moment we have less area, in my opinion, the build actually looks better. Uh, it's a bit hard to say. Wow. Do you see that the timer at the top is just normal seconds, but for some reason it feels like the game is extremely slowed down. But no, this is normal speed. I don't even know what exactly happens, why this is so slowed down, if it's just the weapons overlapping and this creates the effect, but wow. I would honestly love to have a clean version of this. So all the experience is gone, the goal is gone, the chickens are gone, the plus ones from the healing are gone, you know, all of that stuff. And that is my background, oh no. Well, I guess now it is gone, everything got pulled in, there are just some things, you know, that I would wish were gone. 
But yeah, no more experience on the screen right now. And it's going out again. Wow. I don't know if Moon would really improve on that. Like, thinking about it, I don't think so. The problem with Moon is it's so aggressive and then it falls apart, which I don't think adds anything good to it. Just like Pendagram, you know. I don't think it adds anything good to it. Maybe it would have... No, no, no way. So right now we have multiple things that I'm looking forward to. One of them being, when we get towards the end of the game, it should become very laggy and when I press outside of the window or just press tab, it will slow down. And I really want to see what it looks like when it's heavily slowed down. The other thing being, Red Death will obviously pop our shield and this will cause a huge explosion and either this looks super amazing or super horrible. But, well, I have to wait. I mean, you don't have to wait, but you know, it's, it's not very kind to just skip ahead. How about we do it like this, because I don't want the video to have too many empty spots where nothing happens, you know, and 70% of the people get bored. So for those that are just here, for the actual beauty of this, that just want to see what it looks like in the game. At the very end of the video, I will have like 5 minutes of this only going in, out, in, out, without anything happening. Like, I will just cut stuff out when it happens. And there we have the last puzzle piece. As I said, duration might have also been worth it, or maybe even Saraband of Healing. But I think Saraband of Healing will just destroy it. Huh. No, I don't even think it works properly here. Let's go for- oh my god. It's only three more beams, but that takes them from, I think, 24. Oh my god. Okay, uh, to be fair, that is actually quite wild. That is really wild. That is its own beauty build, but like, in a different way, actually. I don't know... Uh, which one do I like more? I like the one that is calmer, and not as extreme as this one, you know? But at the same time, seeing all the coins fly in all the time... It's weird. It's hard to say. I mean, now Sarabano feeling. Now it would have been amazing. I, I'm not arguing against that. Oh my god. The coin effect is becoming more and more and more. The more we have in the enemy waves. I really hope we get another one of those of the Gilded Clovers at minute 28. You know, that is the last time it can pull it in. Otherwise I have to go out and find it and I won't find it. But okay, I gotta say. If you have that many coins flying it, it does look mesmerizing. The only problem is the sound. But I think I'll look to make the sound rather quiet. Like, not, not quiet quiet, but that you can... You hear that there's something going on, you can identify it. But that it doesn't take away from it. Ooh. Oh, the coin amount just broke pretty much. Like, before it was a constant flow, and now it's really laggy. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we won't be able to keep this up. Well, this will be the last pull-in. Let's hope there's a Gilded Clover in there. I didn't see one. Oh, there's one, there's one. Okay, so hopefully this remains for one minute so we can see it at minute 29. There we go. Oh my god. Wait, okay, so it's way less gold. There's no way to keep this until minute 29. But also these bits just flying in doesn't look too bad. Yeah, but that was it. I think we just have to wait for minute 29, then we will see what the game turns into. <laughs> I'm actually curious to see if they manage to pull in, or if they just have no chance. And I would argue with the knockback that we have right now, there is no chance for them. Well, then again, they are the golems, right? And the golems, they have a ton of knockback resistance, so even despite having Soul Eater and Mana Jar, there is a chance that they might get in really far with all the curse that we have. Even these guys right now, they are really slow, but as you can see, they zoom in really far. As in zoom, like a dog zooming, you know? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, no, not really. They don't really get in far. Never mind. It's just too much damage. Keep in mind, we have right now, like, plus 518% might just from Pugnala. So, that is a lot of bonus damage, like a ton of bonus damage. <sighs> and only 20 seconds more, and then the Red Death will spawn. And we can take a look at this, what it looks like with Red Death. Now, I know that the Laurel Explosion of the Evolution is huge, and it's super red and everything. I will turn on the visual effects in the game, 
But if I do this, this will just blast away your eyes. It will be super bright from the clock lens evolution, the corridor, and also from the lol. So I'll not do that. I'm sorry. But there we go. And oh my god. 